Welcome to the world of Polycode Elastomeric or Flexible Deck Coating Systems. In this video, you will learn how to apply a Polydeck Pedestrian Deck Coating System to both concrete and plywood substrates. This video is designed to be used in conjunction with the Polycoat Deck Coating 101 manual. The most important aspects of successfully applying an elastomeric deck coating system are threefold. Number one, proper surface preparation. It's all in the prep. Number two, having the proper tools, and number three, following the coverage rates in the data sheet. Let's begin with surface prep. On a plywood deck, the most critical aspect of surface prep is caulking and fiberglass reinforcing all of the plywood butt joints and all of the sheet metal flashings. The wall to deck flashings and the outer edge metal flashings must be both caulked and reinforced with a reinforcing fabric. The other important aspect of applying these deck coating systems is applying primer to those surfaces that require priming, namely sheet metal flashings and concrete. These coating systems are self-priming on plywood. So as part of prep, all exposed sheet metal flashing must be primed with a two-part epoxy primer. Again, that's applied to all exposed sheet metal flashings and concrete when uh, you're applying these systems to concrete decks. The primer is typically applied with a flat squeegee over large surface areas or a short nap roller, a 3 8 inch nap roller. Day two, involves application of the first coat or the base coat of the deck coating system. So you've done all your prep work. Um, you're on the first day of coating application, which is application of the base coat. Um, in our line, it's the PC220, which is applied at 50 square feet per gallon. And again, that's applied with either a 1 8 inch notch trowel or notch squeegee or a 5 8 inch nap roller. At 50 square feet a gallon, you will get 30 mils without fail every time. All of these coatings take an overnight cure time. So after you've applied the, the base coat, which is also the flexible waterproofing membrane, you let that sit overnight and come back on day three now, application of the intermediate uh, or broadcast coat. Typically, the broadcast medium is sand, and the type of sand that you use is a clean washed, kiln dried sand known as lapis luster or Monterey sand. That's the most common aggregate that's used in these coatings. You can also use other types of broadcast mediums for a more decorative finish, such as vinyl paint chips uh, and color quartz aggregate. These are a little bit more tricky to apply, so the typical application incorporates Monterey sand. The coverage rate of the intermediate coat is 100 square feet per gallon, which yields 10 dry mills. The nap size of the roller, if you're dipping and rolling, um, or for back rolling, is a 3 8 inch nap roller. You will apply the uh, coating at the prescribed coverage rate and then broadcast the aggregate medium into it per the broadcast rate published in the data sheets. When I used to do the work and a lot of applicators I deal with, broadcast to refusal. The data sheet indicates 10 pounds of aggregate per 100 square feet. A to refusal broadcast is a pound per square foot, 100 pounds per 100 square feet. You then let that cure overnight as you did the base coat. So now we're on the final day of deck coating application. 
which is application of the final top coat. Again, the top coat is applied with the same tools as you used to apply the intermediate coat. So the first thing you'll do, if you've broadcast to refusal, you'll have, literally, you'll have a pile of sand laying on the, uh, on the deck. You'll sweep and blow off and sweep off the excess aggregate, making sure that there aren't any loose sand granules laying on the deck. Followed by application of the final top coat. Again, by either a flat squeegee or by a short nap roller, which is a 3 8 inch nap size. If you uh, have elected to broadcast vinyl paint chips into the coating, you will sweep and blow off the excess paint chips, followed by scrubbing the paint chips with the heavy bristle broom to smooth out the paint chips. and then blowing off the, uh, the dust that collects. That coating is allowed to cure overnight and you've now successfully completed a poly deck deck coating application. With proper maintenance and a proper recoat program, these decks last indefinitely.